Right, this is an example again of what urban stress is. So basically going through its definition again and various symptoms of urban stress. So just revision very, very briefly. So urban stress is when the urban system can't cope with the demands of its population. So generally the population may be growing too quickly. So we've seen a lot of mega cities and low income countries really struggling in particular with providing housing. So that leads to things like squatter settlements, slums start to develop, then you get other issues associated and symptoms such as water pollution, air pollution. So it could be the size of the population or the growth rate. And in some countries and cities, it could be consumption as well. So these are the challenges that we face in particular in low income countries again. So some of this links to symptoms of urban stress, but generally the challenges Rapid growth, housing the urban poor, especially in mega cities in our low income countries. So we've looked at things like Mumbai, we've looked at Dharavi, Dhaka, so we've got crime. That can also be applicable to your high income countries as well. So we've looked at issues associated with deindustrialization in Detroit, social deprivation. So remember what that is. So these people or groups are deprived, they have less. Kate employment, we might see a large informal sector, in particular in low income countries and in our mega cities. So, Jaravi, the pottery industry, that was huge. Okay, waste management, transport, congestion, energy, public space, open space is a real challenge, in particular in our low income countries where we see rapid growth and water and food supply. All right, so we've talked about DACA, you can see two sides here huge informal settlement here so a large squatter settlement so this is going to be an issue here so i'm starting to see masses if i look across the river here of inequality and poverty so these are huge symptoms here so again we've talked about jarabi in mumbai so a real lack of open space you're going to see a problem with sanitation waste right so it's very very crowded water pollution as a result because of the crowded nature of these squatter settlements in particular, you may have outbreaks of diseases in some of our slums, so that's a huge problem. Again, it's not just the fact that I've got these squatter settlements developed, but in a lot of cities we're starting to see homelessness, so not just in low-income nations, but in Mumbai, so this is a real challenge, but also in Detroit as a result of deindustrialization and the global financial crisis. So high levels of informal housing, so Brazil, Barbilas, you can see where they are located on marginal land. So, for example, in this case here, you can see in the background, this would be a very, very steep slope, all right? Again, this could be Indonesia, traffic congestion. So, rapid growth can't keep up in terms of the infrastructure development. So, if I've got huge growth due to generally rural to urban migration, people looking for work, coming into the cities for work or even commuting, they have masses of problems with congestion, which can also lead to photochemical smog and air pollution as well. In low income countries, generally more so though from manufacturing, so this is a huge issue, that manufacturing can be formal and informal. We looked at Delhi as well. So again, rapid growth, lots of issues with transportation, but also in Delhi, we had a lot of unregulated industries, in particular the kiln industry as well. Right, so again, another symptom that I might see would be pressure on services. So this could be education, this could be healthcare. It's also struggling to keep up with the demands and also deteriorating as well. So high levels of crime and civil unrest as a result might also be another symptom of urban stress. All right, so just recapping. Symptoms of urban stress, you might see homelessness, you might see the development of squatter settlements and slums, services start to deteriorate, such as schools, education, different types of pollution, so water pollution, air pollution, photochemical smog, etc. All right, so again, these are just recapping my symptoms of urban stress.